Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amirpet Technologies. In this video, I am going to explain about uh, nested tables. Right, how to create the nested tables. First of all, what is nested table? Defining a table inside another table is called nested table. Here, in HTML, how to create nested tables? Defining a table inside another table. Suppose I am taking one table like this. First, simple table I am taking. In the following videos, I am going to explain how the tables are present in real time. For example, is a restaurant for example, is a restaurant menu like that. We are creating the table. First of all, to make you the concept more clear, simple tables I am writing. Here, this is one table. In the first row, I am just creating the numbers like this, 1, 2. But in the second row, in the first column, one subtable. In the second column is another subtable I am creating. Here, I am giving the values 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 6 and here 7, 8, 9, 10. Like this, I am creating the simple table. That is. See here, how can we create that simple table? 1, 2 and next one 3, 4 with the subtables and all. First of all, start with the beginning. Starting with the table, of course you need to define define inside the body. Is a table. If you want to create the border, yes, you can create the border with value 1. I just want to display at the center means what? Yes, you can align it to center. Center. Multiple attributes you can specify. As we know the concept, all attributes you have to specify in the start tag only. Start tag is a border we have given and as well as alignment also we have given. And this is the table is representing outer table. How many rows are present in outer table? Two rows are present. Two rows. First row is a very small. So I am representing first row like this. TR and TR. But second row consists the tables. So TR start and TR end. I am writing like this. So the table consists two rows. So first think about the first row only. So first row contains how many columns? Only two columns are there. Okay. We can easily specify that is a TD is 1 and that TD closed. Second one is a TD 2 and again the TD closed. The first row completed. Now come to the second row. In the second row, two columns are there. First, think about the first column only. First column means TD is a first column start, first column end. Why you have written like this means what? In between, you have to create one entire table. Then again, the second column I am taking is a TD start and then TD end. Two we are creating. So first think about the first column. In first column, again is a table. Right? So you have to create the table again. Table and border you can give. Border. Table start. Table end. And this table consists how many rows? Of course, again two rows. Is a TR start, TR end. TR start, TR end. This is the first table which contains two rows. This one. Right? In the first row, again two columns. In the second row, again two columns are there. So this is the first column and this is the second column. The first column value is a 3. Second column value is a 4. 4. Here in this row, that column is a TD, the value is a 5. And this one is a TD, the value column is a 6. Like this. The first table completed in the first column, the same thing you do for the second column also. Create the table. Is a table start, table end. 
in that two rows are there is a tr start tr end tr start tr end which consists the two columns td start td start the values are 7 td end here it is 8 td end here it is the same story the two tds and one is a 9 and one is a 10 one is a 10 this is how we are creating the nested tables if the nested table any caption here you can create the caption here hope you understood what is a table defining a table inside another table okay thank you all